chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again let us start with some more questions on algebraic identities of type 2 in this question he says x is 5 y is 6 z is minus 11 then what is x cube plus y cube plus z cube one brute force method is to put the values of x as 5 cube 6 cube and minus 11 cube and obtain the answer that will give you the answer but it will waste your time we have to definitely look at a shorter method the one that the examiner intends us to do now in this case we observe that x plus y plus z will be zero so we observe x plus y plus z is equal to zero because 5 plus 6 minus 11 is 0 so this is one observation that we have if this observation we keep in mind then we are in a position to use this formula x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz is equal to x plus y plus z multiplied by x square plus y square plus z square Minus x y minus y z minus z x. This formula, this identity, we are already aware of. So we can put x plus y plus z equal to zero on the right hand side. On the right hand side. So what we get is x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus three x y z. is equal to 0 the right hand side will become 0 so which implies x cube plus y cube plus z cube is equal to 3xyz so x cube plus y cube plus z cube will be equal to 3 times the product of x y and z so which is equal to 3 into 5 into 6 into minus 11 so which will be equal to now you can associate these 3 into 30 into minus 11 which comes to so you can associate these two 90 into minus 11 which is equal to minus 990 which is the answer in this case i did a sort of derivation starting with this identity and then i put it but many people they remember the identity like this only x plus y cube plus z cube is equal to 3xyz this is how they have already remembered if x plus y plus z is 0 so then it becomes even a two second answer so x cube plus y cube plus z cube is equal to 3xyz if x plus y plus z equal to 0 they remember it like this so in that case of course you don't have to go even through these steps so the central point in this case is that you have to observe what is given to you and look for any relationship between them and accordingly use an identity to obtain your answer let us move on to our next question if a plus b plus c equal to 2 and ab plus bc plus ca is equal to 1 then what is the value of this expression This example involves the powers of two, square, 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 and these combinations also appear in one square formula, the one a plus b plus c whole square wala. Now we have already been given a sum of three as two, so we'll start by using the square formula on this one. So let us proceed. Given a plus b plus c equal to two. which implies 
a plus b plus c whole square is equal to 2 square is equal to 4 squaring both the sides which implies a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 ab plus bc plus ca is equal to 4 we have opened the uh, square by using the identity so i'll write here identity by identity which implies a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 multiplied by by ab plus bc plus ca is 1 multiplied by 1 is equal to 4 which implies a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 4 minus 2 equal to 2. So store it as equation 1. This equation will be helpful to us. Now take a plus b whole square plus b plus c whole square plus c plus a whole square which is equal to a square plus b square plus 2 ab plus b square plus c square plus 2 bc plus c square plus a square plus 2 ac a little bit of bravery is required although it looks that this one will give me a very complicated expression but a little bit of bravery is also required it does pay many times so a square coming twice b square coming twice c square also coming twice so we can write it as 2 into a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 into collect the other ones 2 is common plus c a so which is equal to now a square plus b square plus c square is known to be 4 so i'll write put from equation 1 is equal to 2 into 2 plus 2 into this from put from equation 1 and also AB plus BC plus CA is equal to 1. So this will be 4 plus 2 which is equal to 6 as answer. So whenever we have an example of this type where we can observe that powers of 2 are there and also observe that 3 variables are there then the scaring formula a plus b plus c whole square that will come to our rescue in one way or the other. Let us take our next example now. Chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point. For DVD, pen drive, please write an email to me. These videos, they do not require internet, they play offline, there is no problem of buffering. And please subscribe to my channel for regular updates. Thank you. Thank you for your support once again.